Hello there everybody and a huge welcome. Um, I wonder whether you've got a studio concert coming up very soon. Here in the UK we're still hard at work and I know many many teachers have got their annual studio concert or their termly studio concert already in the diary and with students ready to prepare for that. And I was talking to somebody about this over half term and saying this is a really really valuable opportunity for you to take to advocate for music education and the value of what you do. Now you might feel that you're not somebody who can stand up and speak in public like that but I would um, really recommend that as the leader of your piano studio which you most certainly are it is actually your responsibility to help spread the word and to be honest it's absolutely in your own benefit to stand up and tell people about by people i'm usually meaning your students but more importantly the piano parents you've got there or your adult students that you've got there to really highlight to them the power of the piano and music education you want to go look at the Channel 4 series, haven't you, the piano, to see how music moves people and how people are inspired to learn an instrument when actually they've never had lessons. You don't need lessons necessarily, but I'm not here to say that really. I'm, I'm really here to talk about the power of what it is that we do and how you can really highlight that. So we need to really say to people about how music Music is the jackpot, yeah? Music can really help to bring together the, um, the sensing, the moving, the feeling, and the thinking part of the brain in quite a unique way. If you want to read more about music and the brain, um, then I would really recommend this book, which is by Nina Krauss, Nina Krauss down there, and it's called A Sound Mind. And she does indeed call music the jackpot. Um, very interesting, lots and lots of stuff to read in there. So that's the first thing, that me, saying that music is the jackpot because of the different um, uh, stimulation that it gives. I think the other thing to point out to parents is the, the resilience and the persistence that piano students need to uh, exhibit and that they develop through um, having to learn new skills constantly, learning new pieces all the time. And every time a new skill is introduced or a new piece and new, new skills within new pieces, then every time we have to overcome the problems. Um, and hopefully as teachers, you're managing to sequence that very, very carefully indeed. So that those um, new skills are never impossible, but always just slightly out of reach. So all the time our students begin to feel that they're making progress and then you raise the bar a little bit and they move on again so resilience and persistence i think are a huge huge thing that we can really highlight here um and i think learning to be comfortable with mistakes because we're going to make mistakes all the time as we learn these new skills and as we learn these new pieces there will be mistakes and mistakes, you know, are good. Mistakes are how we learn. And we have to stay comfortable with mistakes, even though they feel really uncomfortable. It's a question of, that's fine. You you do this, you do one, two, three, and that will actually help to fix it. And then they feel that sense of achievement, don't they? So that's the, the, the next thing. And the final thing I want to say <clears throat> is advocating for music um, as something for life. So music is for life, not just for taking exams, not for getting lots of certificates on the wall, because you can have those, but actually not be able to play a thing. But what I'm trying to do in my teaching studio is I'm trying to give them music that will last with them. And I mean music as a subject here rather than not particular pieces of music, but something that they are going to move forward with and that they will value and appreciate themselves and by that music i'm also meaning any kinds of music music is meaningful to them and they will know what they want to do with it as they move forward 
very few of us are going to teach concert pianists. I certainly haven't ever, I don't think myself, but I have um, taught musicians who then have become an opera singer, become a composer. Um, you know, there, there, there are a whole variety of things. But the majority of my students, I would say, just love music. And I would hope that going back 20 years, I would hope that those students still feel that. Of course, they've all grown up now. And even more, I hope they're passing it on to their children as well. So some ideas for highlighting your value to your parents. Take those ideas if you like. You know, we're talking about music being the jackpot for the brain. We're talking about the resilience and persistence that you develop through learning an instrument. We're talking about learning um, to be comfortable with making mistakes and about passing on that love of music as a lifelong experience. Or there's more, you know, you up to you to find them out. If you are an experienced piano teacher, you'll have done this before. And so I, I don't need to tell you anything. If you're not so new to piano teaching and you're thinking, oh, Sally, this isn't for me, I really would urge you get to, to, to think about this. Prepare in advance, write it down, practice, put the video on, record yourself. One thing you could do is take a little, uh, a few post-it notes and just put the um, bullet points that you want to say on it. Do practice it. I certainly in the past have always practiced and I'm just... You know, I'm not standing here doing this off the top of my head, you know. I have got it written down. I've got my bullet points there. I think about it beforehand. Sometimes it comes out better than others. I'm not sure about this one, but, you know, we, hopefully you'll get that right message. And please, 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 it's up to us. If we don't advocate for the value of music and the value of what you do, then we can't expect to be treated as um, a profession that has something to give to this world. Thank you so much for listening. Good luck with all that you're doing with your studio concert preparations. Bye-bye for now.